Oh my god, it's been a hell of a week just since I posted a video because like I mentioned in my last video, there is a weird feeling I've been dealing with and I've taken the week to really let my new life, my new reality sit in and it's all clicked for me. Very, I mean, it kind of already clicked before and I just was like, all right, I kind of know what this is. Let's let it sink in. And now it's sunk in and now I've, I'm stepping into my new power. I'm stepping into facts and reality and just embracing it instead of slumming about it. And life is like finally really, really, really good. But I want to make this video because, you know, it's my first week back in France. You know, lawn nights are back again. Beautiful sunsets, listening to music on my iPod on shuffle for hours on end. You know, feeling that great feeling of knowing you always find your way home and it just takes a long time. The things in life actually do work out. Like a surprise plot twist for me three years later of a lot of crap happening back to back to back. The things really do actually work out. The thing is, is you just gotta let go of the timeline. You gotta let go of the expectations. You gotta let go of this should happen by this time or this should happen when this happens. That's not how this stuff really goes. It works out not at the time you want it to and sometimes in a different way and sometimes in a different path but if there's something that you really do want I do believe that you will get it at some point point. and that's not creepy at all as so I zoomed in to uh, <laughs> a sign for something that was just very creepy as I was thinking about it and as I just said that now so you know that's also creepy and it's just always really it's always happening with me but um, I want to make this video for what to do when you love someone. And I'm not talking like you want to be with them, like, you know, sometimes that is some part of it that goes in hand in hand, or, you know, a crush, or like physical attraction. I mean, when you love someone. And I feel like very few people, at least I haven't met any of my friends, I have friends that are married, a lot of them have not experienced a certain kind of love that I have felt thus far in my life. And I know that I'm very lucky to have even felt a love like it. I've felt this same strong love for France as I have for a person in my life. And this kind of love is, is very rare to even touch, I have found. And a lot, of shuff, a lot of listening to music this past week and a lot of long time to think about things. And something I have learned in this whirlwind year, that's not just, you know, France and my visa struggles and my job hunting struggles is you cannot change your feelings. I don't care what anyone says, and I'm gonna be that person that's gonna be here to validate you, is that you cannot change your feelings about anything, about someone, about something that you want really badly, like that's how I felt with France. Like, you know, no matter what anyone said to me in the year and a half, two years that I was waiting to get back to France, people would say things and it would just go in one year completely at the other. Why? Because I love France, and real love is so strong that it negates logic. And that's part of the problem, that I think is so deeply embedded in our society that people say, oh, we'll just do this instead, or just find this person instead. But if you could replace the love that someone or something gave you, life would be so much easier. Oh, I'm going to Ed Sheeran in the summer, by the way. Like, it's very exciting, you know. I have such a busy summer plan. I'm going to Ed Sheeran. It's like my first concert again. My little brother's coming to visit. Tons of friends from high school are dropping by throughout the summer because they're going on Europe trips. But back to what you do if, if you love someone and you don't know when or if uh, it's ever going to become the thing that you feel so strongly that it will. You let them go. And then you're like, what the F, Stephanie? That's like, the, I could have just Googled that. Like, I, everyone's been telling me that's in crap too. Why am I listening to your video? Well, what I said before about letting go of the timeline. And sometimes we do have really weird six senses, six senses or strong gut feelings that we cannot explain. Logic doesn't explain them. And if you feel something so strongly, you gotta let go of the timeline. And that's something that I think I've just learned with France. I was like, wow, why is this not happening yet? Why is it not happening? And it kind of finally happened at this like great, beautiful time, you know, when I wasn't expecting it. And that's what you gotta do with love also. There's that saying that uh, if you let something go and it comes back to you, it's meant it was always yours it was, it was always yours. If it, if it doesn't, it was never yours in the first place. And that's what you have to do with the people that you love. And you're allowed to think about them. I hate when people are like, oh, you're gonna not think about them. You're gonna go 
on a date with someone else, and you're gonna do blah blah blah. The truth is, not all people, like I was thinking about this on my walk, like thinking about Charlie Puth and Olivia Rodrigo, and I feel like this myself. I feel like my. What I want to do is I want to leave my stories and the things that I've been through behind so someone 200 years from now has these videos or has my poems or has my songs or has my books to resonate with even when I'm no longer here. And I think we really we just got to respect that some people, like, their life missions are not conventional. I've never, even as a little girl, like, I've never told anyone this, but when I was seven, I literally used to think that I was, like, being filmed. And one time I, like, I posed like someone was filming me, and a girl in front of me was like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, nothing. And I literally thought I was being filmed, like, my entire life. I never dreamed of having kids or getting married. Like, my life vision, even from being seven years old, was always, what can I make and entertain and share with the world? So if you love someone, still love them. Send them your love unconditionally. Go about your life. Follow the things that you know that you've got to do. Subscribe to your own mission. And enjoy the movie. Because you're living a movie. I have always said for the past three years, life is a long movie. There is no rewind. There's no pausing. There's no fast forwarding. Just pressing play in the present moment. Live your movie. And then see what happens.